Alright, this will probably be the last part on this four part series on the meters. So I have this meter. Let me turn my light on. My other one don't have a light. Now this is the true RMS. And it does read DC amperage. I was just reading over the paper. Let me grab it real quick. I'm not sure if this is going to show up on the camera or not. Yeah, no, it's not going to. But it reads frequencies. 0 .001 HZ to 10 MHZ. So, I'm thinking, I don't know, I have no idea what the pulse is coming out of the charger. I'm not even sure how to figure that out. But, see that's the meter I was just, that does up to 10,000 millihertz, I think it is. 1.82 1 1.81 See, it's reading right on with it. Well, I am, you know, my meters are hooked up right. This meter is breaking is breaking my line running to the cell. And this meter is just clipped on one of the lines running to the cell. And like you could see in my other video, when I squeeze the clamps, I could get it to move almost two amps. I get nothing with this. I, I can put it on any wire I want. I get the same reading. I can put it anywhere in the wire I want and get the same reading. It don't matter how close to the cell. Whereas I found with the Sears meter, I could make it vary a lot by doing a lot of different things. So for me doing these bench tests on a charger, and I did go out and try this on the vehicle with a 12 volt light, it did not work. I tried it on the ATX power supply, it did not work. So this isn't the uh, the one and all meter to have, but I'm imagining the ideal meter that is made to do DC amps is probably a really good choice. This is the one that it, it does not read DC amps. It will read from a charger, from a pulse width modulator. And I'm not sure, I'm going to email ideal. and try to get them to answer me to see what kind of frequencies it'll do. But I'm getting a lot better numbers than I did with the other meter. So now I feel confident that I can actually do an MMW test and my numbers be right. And like I said before, that might not be to compare to the world, but if I'm getting inaccurate numbers to compare against myself, I might as well not even be doing a comparison. I can't tell if I change a little bit my electrolyte and accidentally bump the meter and it changes something. You know, that's I can't account for changes in the meter being able to fluctuate up to 3 amps, not at a 2 amp level. Thanks, guys.